In 2012, Slitterbahn Water Park co-owner Jeff Henry planned the construction of the tallest and fastest water slide in the world. He hired John Schooley as lead designer and set out to design something previously unheard of. Management insisted that the engineering and design team needed to hurry up and complete all the math three to four times faster. The attraction was named Verrucht, which means crazy in German, and the Guinness Book of Records called this slide the tallest in the world. On Sunday, August 7, 2016, the weather was pleasant and warm in Kansas City. That day, the Sklitterbahn Water Park offered free admission to Kansas elected officials, their family members, and a buffet. A family of six, state legislative representative Scott Schwab, his wife Michelle, and their four sons, came to the water park here this afternoon. The Verruckt attraction is one of the main attractions of the water park. For the thrilled seeker, the water slide had no equal. Defying the laws of physics, two or three riders in a three-seater rubber raft had to descend from a nearly vertical 17-story height, accelerating up to 65 miles per hour. According to the attraction's rules, Riders must be at least 54 inches tall, and the total weight of the group per board must be between 400 and 550 pounds. Ten-year-old Caleb, who was the second oldest child, told his parents that he really wanted to ride the water slide. The boy's height was 59 inches, which corresponded to his admission to the attraction. At 1430 Caleb, having climbed 264 steps, reached the top of the platform. The boy saw the cityscape spread out before he stepped into the front of the raft. The operator secured Caleb to the seat with a Velcro strap. Behind the boys, next to the raft, sat two sisters, 32 and 25 years old. The operator launched the attraction, the gates swung open, and the conveyor belt under the raft began to move. The raft tilted forward and suddenly rushed down. A few seconds later, the raft reached the foot of the hill and picking up maximum speed, began to climb the second hill. While moving along the fiberglass chute and climbing the second hill, the raft suddenly rose into the air. Caleb unfastened and collided with a semi-circular metal bar and net designed to prevent riders from being ejected from the ride. A metal arc came into contact with the neck area and instantly divided him into two parts. Caleb flew out of the raft and landed on a chute, sliding towards the waste basin. Employees and doctors were the first to reach the foot of the hill and realized that there was no way to help Caleb. The two sisters who were sitting behind the boy remained strapped into the raft, but they also required urgent medical attention. Immediately after the incident, the Slitterbahn water park was closed pending inspection. Although the park reopened three days later, the attraction remained closed. After the water park opened, many parents took precautions. A safety consultant hired by the park told Jeff Henry shortly before the water slide opened that the ride was unfinished and unsafe. After construction was completed, the expert recommended that only riders aged 16 years and older be allowed to ride. Co-owner of the water park, Jeff Henry, who did not formally have an engineering education, decided that it would be better to make the age limit for admission of passengers at least 14 years old. Just before the opening of the attraction, all age restrictions were lifted. 10-year-old Caleb, who weighed 74 pounds, was allowed by ride operators to sit at the front of the raft rather than between his two female companions. One of the sisters cheerfully weighed 275 pounds, while the other was all 196 pounds. According to some experts, the uneven distribution of the weight of the riders contributed to the fact that the front of the raft rose into the air. Engineers who inspected the ride also noted that mesh covers the chute in areas where riders reach high speeds. This carried some risk because a rider moving at high speed could easily lose a limb if he flew out and came into contact with a metal structure. Concerns about the ride's safety had long predated the incident, and former employees said both the ride's inspections and staff training were inadequate. 
It soon became clear that the opening of the water attraction was postponed twice due to video recordings of tests in which rafts were seen flying out of the slide. John Schooley and water park co-owner Jeff Henry were initially charged with manslaughter. An engineering firm hired to test the ride a week before it opened issued a report that guaranteed the rafts would sometimes become airborne in ways that could seriously injure or even kill riders. In January 2019, a lawyer representing the water park argued that the evidence presented to the jury was flimsy and inadmissible. That same year, all charges against Henry and Schooley were dropped due to inadequate evidence and testimony. In turn, the Scott Schwab family received monetary compensation in the amount of $20 million. The Verruckt attraction was closed permanently.